Alright YouTube, what's up? It's uh, I at the Jackpots here, Chris, you guys know that by now. And uh, as you guys can see by the title, this is a pretty, wow, well, I can't get that, pretty important video right here guys. Um, it's about Flash on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, iPod Touch, uh, obviously first generation because it has to be jailbroken for this to actually work. Um, and your iPhone, if you have your iPhone jailbroken, that's the only way it's going to work. Alright, so I'm just going to really quickly play you guys a little tutorial really quickly of the Flash in motion right now. Um, because it, it has not been working for me that much lately. It has actually crashed, uh, crashed a lot of the times um, that I've used it, but I've got it to work right now. So I paused the video, got my got my um, computer running, got my webcam going, and um, I paused it right here so you guys can see it. This is not the usual video setup, so you know I'm not faking this, and I'll also show you it legit, I'll, if you guys don't believe me, in a few seconds. Um, right there, I'll click play. Obviously, you guys cannot hear any sound, because this is the 1G, and my, um, does not have built-in speakers. So guys, right here, it is kind of buggy, but this is Flash for your iPhone and iPod Touch. Just let me click done, and check it out. It brought me right back here to the YouTube page that it was on. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get this. Um, just to allow me to turn down my brightness very quickly so it is easier for you guys to see. Alright, you guys can see that just fine. Let me turn it down just a little bit more because I know some people don't really like, um, don't really like it that bright. Alright, so obviously what you need to have is a jailbroken Apple Touch or iPhone, like I said. Um, then you want to go into Cydia. Give that a little while to load. You guys do know Cydia is not the fastest, um, loader out there so uh... give it a couple seconds to load um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a source and then download just one um, just one file or just one um, kind of application i guess you could say um, but very simple <clears throat> it's just downloading the releases and everything like that just give it a couple seconds alright there we go once it is done um, you guys want to go into manage sources right there and here's where you want to go you want to go to edit then you want to go over here to where it says add and here's where you're going to put in the source the source of this is d dot lowercase d dot mobile m o b i l e cinema c i n e m a mobile D dot mobile cinema dot com just like that if you guys can't really make it out that well because I know you really can't um the the exact same source will be over there in the video description typed out so you guys can read it and enter it in your city perfectly so once again there it is one more time D dot mobile cinema dot com um then you want to click add source I'm just going to click cancel because I already have it everything will be Everything will be refreshed. Um, mine gave me an error, but I just clicked OK through it, and it worked out fine. As you guys can see there under Sources, there's a new one right there. It says iMobile Cinema. Um, what you want to do is you can go ahead and click on that. My uh, city has been going really slow today, um, so just forgive me if it's doing that. Then here you can see that the Mobile Cinema for 2.x is what it's telling you. You can click on that. And then here it'll bring you to this nice page, um, which lists a lot about um, this. Uh, I guess you guys can say product maybe or item uh, in Cydia. Um, then up here you're gonna want to click install. Mine says modify because obviously I already have it. Um, then you want to confirm that install, let it do all that stuff. And now what I recommend you do is that you fully not not respring your iPod, not just put sleep on and off. I recommend that you fully shut it off and then turn it back on. All right. And then once you're done with that, oh, I actually only, all oh, right, there we go. Um, once you're done with that, once your iPod is turned back, turned back on, um, what you want to do is you want to go over to Safari, and just let me uh, actually get a blank page going here. All right, so now just allow me to exit out the other page. Now I got a blank page. Um, so far, I've seen this work for YouTube.com and MySpace uh, videos um, on MySpace.com. Um, I will let you guys know. I'll keep you updated for any other sites that it gets uh, working with, with any updates that comes out for it. Um, so I'm just going to go head over to YouTube.com. You guys can see clearly right there. Well, not, maybe not. But um, 
there it goes, that is launching. Um, I have it set to open up on the desktop version, if you guys aren't really sure how to get it to this, so you see this, and you see, like, some odd screen that you're not used to seeing, and it's only showing up on your iPod, just scroll down all the way to the bottom, and it should say, view desktop version. That's what you want to click on. Alright, so now that it's all loaded, during this process, guys, when you're loading each web page, make sure you allow it to fully load. As you can see, it is now fully loaded. I'm just going to zoom in and click on that random video right there. This one happens to say Walmart Xmas. Now I'm going to wait for this page to fully load. As you guys can see there, there's the picture, the actual video right there, and not just some little blue, almost Lego-looking piece that says, uh... I don't know, you need JavaScript enabled or something like that um, for this to work. Um, so there you see that is the video. It does not, see so you guys see that is still is not playing. Um, what you usually have to do is you have to wait for this video to now buffer. Um, you cannot actually see it buffer right now, but hopefully if I'm lucky, it will start to buffer for you guys. That's why I, I showed you that in the beginning of the video, um, because it does take a little while for it to show up um, I was actually sitting here for a little bit before while I was waiting for that video to show up um, but it is flash guys it is working um, let me try maybe tapping on the video I'm not quite sure how it got it to work exactly <clears throat> there we go you guys can see right there it is buffering now sweet and there we go guys check it out it's running right there flash for the iPhone and iPod touch finally long awaited the only downside, you have to have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. But it does work, guys. There you have the features of a regular video of fast-forwarding, pausing, and uh, rewinding, and your volume. And you can fast-forward the video however much you want. You can double-tap the video to make it uh, wider or smaller. And you can also click Done when you are done. So check that out, guys. Flash for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Legit. You just saw it first here. Hopefully you saw it first here. Um this helped you guys, or if you like this video in any way, please let me know by rating this video five stars right down there, and by commenting, um, say thanks man, this helped work, or dude, this isn't working, help me out, and I'll help you out as much as I can, um, thanks for watching guys, that's basically it, um, let me see what time I'm at, I'm at seven minutes, just let me head over to, um, a famous, uh, movie site, um, where you can watch movies, watchmovies.net, I'm going to see what works on there because that would be really cool uh, if you could actually watch um, those types of movies straight on your iPod Touch. All right, um, I'm on that page. <clears throat> just gonna wait for it to load all the way. Just once again, guys, a little warning: when you're doing that, just fully wait for each page to load, so you don't have to worry about anything going wrong or anything freezing. That's what I mean by when I say anything going wrong. Um, does not look like I'm. I might have enough time here. I don't know. I got a minute left. Um, I'm just I'm just really gonna click any video right now. Just clicked any video. I'm not really sure. Hopefully I'll have time for this to work. Come on. <laughs> well while we're waiting really quickly guys, just let me know um in the comments down below if you like this or if it helped and don't forget to subscribe over there. Um like my videos. Guys, if this is the first video you're checking out of mine, go check out my other videos. I got some nice case reviews and some nice um other product reviews and app reviews. Um Cool stuff like that. So I just clicked watch full. Um, that usually stands for watch the full video. Is there loading? And I don't think I'm going to have enough time for to allow this to buffer. But maybe it would work there. If it does, I will let you guys know in another one of my videos. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. I will catch you guys in my next video. This is how you get flashed on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, hopefully you saw it here first. Um, if not, let me know. And Everything like that in a comment down below, and please rate this video five stars. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Favorite comment, rate, subscribe once again, and I will see you guys later. Take care.